number 3000 just trying to show how to sample on the dj8 this program is dope the interface has been totally changed the controls have been changed overhauled i guess they want to step their game up and maybe i'll do serato with the features that is available and it's like to me some live 2k type shit they step their game up real so um Let's get into the um, program, show how to sample, and do a couple other features. And I'll walk through the first sampling process step by step. I got four tracks on two decks. After that, I'm going to sample the other three tracks real quickly, and you get an overall understanding of how what sampling is like in BDJ 8, which I think it has that total NPC feel, which I hope... FL Studio takes note to and adds some of these features in because they do need it. That FP FPC is broken. Anyway, um, here we go. So we got um, Tanache Cold Sweat. We're just going to loop anything. It's looped already. I don't want that loop point because I don't know what it is really. Where at? Alright, so he's going to start the track up. So I sampled that part. It sounds a little staticky. I don't know why. What's that lagging right now? I see a sample earlier, but um. I'm going to put that track in and delete these out of the sample bank. So what you would do is see here it says Cold Sweat 3. You can rename it too after you've um, put it in the sampler to not to have them all say Cold Sweat Part 1, 2, and 3 of different samples of the song, which sometimes can be confusing. You can put exactly what you know that part says, anything. You can go into the sample editor. Make changes to the start, end point, drop, loop, mode, flat pitch like some Kanye, sync, sync lock for blending. It's dope. Okay, so you see it says pad one, cold sweat, go back up in there, and you see right here pad one when I press it. <laughs> It's on some one shot right now, so when I hope I have to hold it. And I go, it stops the sample. Go back up in there. Go to sample editor. You can go to loop. And you want to save changes? Yes. So you save it. You go back over there. It should. Yeah, you see, just like some NPC shit. And um, loops, one shots, whatever. So, you wouldn't want to do the next sample now. I'm going to do it quick now. I'll just take my time so everybody get a understanding of how to sample on BDJ. So now we go to the next track, which is Kendrick, You Ain't Gotta Lie. It's looped already, but we're going to unloop it. Start up the track. So there we got the Kendrick track. I'm just gonna do them all real quick now. So we can go over here. Tuan Tanache. <laughs> So I sampled that part too. I don't even know what I sampled. I don't care really. It's showing the process. And you got Kendrick, these walls. It's looped already. We're just going to use the loop. That's it. See, 
see how quick that was? You can do a sample in seconds now. So we got three, we got four. So we got four tracks, I mean four samples in the sample bank. You would shift, highlight all four tracks, such as now. Right click, go to assign the group, new group, so that when you play each sample now, sorry for that. I think the more you press the pad, you're going to get different velocities and you're going to get different pitches. It's dope. Just like an MP. You got your slicer setting, you have your roll setting, and you got your hot cue. These are all different pad modes. Um, that's pretty much it. Hope you like the tube. Peace.